This should be an exciting affair, and along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski, set to bring you all the commentary here on EA Sports. All right, we're just moments away now. Let's hand it down to ringside. Ray Ferraro, is there an edge here for one way or in the other? I don't think so, James. Looks like a pretty evenly matched game. We'll see what the goaltending does. That's always critical. Who has a better night on the special teams? That also always very important. Two teams looking starved for a win, and we are set to go. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. No one home on that play. And puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Puck scooped up by foot. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. Up along the wing. The Griffins have it against the wall. Slides the puck across to Svechnikov. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. We're still in the early stages of this period. We're still scoreless. Joseph's won a big draw in their own end. Grand Rapids looks to attack. Oh, just wide! You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Syracuse is across the blue line. He grabs the puck here at the point. Centered out in front, and that one's broken up. Across the line from center. Hammers it on net. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Syracuse moves it ahead. Takes a wrist shot. And that goes off a player in front. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Denies it in front. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice. But the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. I loved making that save in road hockey, the old blocker stop. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Takes the puck at the point, and now he moves it to Smith. Grand Rapids has it near the wall. Takes the feed. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Let's it go. Stop by the goaltender. To the front. Big stop by the keeper. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. Rasmussen's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Gibson's able to handle that scoring chance like it's nothing. He makes a stick save on it. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still looking for our first goal. Rasmussen's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Syracuse moves it quickly along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Let's it go. Oh, you can't miss that. Now, somehow I got 408, James. You don't get any if you don't hit the net. Get it on target, man. Oh, he got paddled by Gibson. Sends the pass over. Grand Rapids has the puck. Nothing doing. Syracuse. They score! Set a big one on that! Oh, the rookie comes through in his first playoff year with his first playoff goal. Oh, there's the first goal of the series, James. You want to take the lead, you want to play with it. They've got the upper hand.
Syracuse has the game's first goal. How does that change things now? Well, certainly they get to play with a little bit of cushion. They've got the lead, and now they can make their opponents Syracuse chase the game. Scored by number there he is from the slot, denies him! Yeah. Pickard's athleticism serves him well there. Excellent stop. Syracuse has possession of it now. Receives the pass. Cutting to the front of the net. Played big in the moment there. The Griffins take it across the blue line. Takes the shot. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. And now it's grabbed by Witkowski. He carries the puck up along the wing. Throws it in. Grand Rapids gets the puck near the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Pickard's made a great save here. That was a dangerous play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Syracuse has it in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Foot. Syracuse has it in the defensive end. Foot's carrying it ahead. Along the half wall with the puck. Blast from the blue line. Somehow knocked away by the goalie on that one. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Grabs it in his own end. Grand Rapids plays it along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Joseph. Syracuse plays it along the boards. Moves the puck along the half wall. A chance from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. Syracuse leads it 1-0. Grand Rapids wins the draw. Moves it quickly over to Svechnikov. Grand Rapids plays the puck along the boards. Shot denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Gibson. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalie gets the blocker up to make the save. Smith won it in their own end. Taken along the wall by Thomas. Quick feed to Smith. Grabs control of it at the point. Takes the pass. Too many bodies in the way. Turn that one aside. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Through center along the wing. Drives to the paint. Puts it in for the goal, and the rookie is on the board. What a nice way to jump into your first playoff year. You get on the board, and you can relax a bit. He doesn't waste any time getting this puck off his stick. The snapshot beats the goaltender from the high slot. The Crunch have a lot of jump in their stride tonight, Razor. Well, what a start for them, James. I mean, I love the way that they came out of the shoot. Now they've got this two-goal lead. They're in total control of the game. But you got to be careful. There's still lots of time left. He scores! You know he was nervous. The rookie gets into his first playoff. That first career playoff goal will help him relax. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot. You're open. But you know everybody's converging on you.
The Griffins are back at center ice. This not looking like a goaltending duel tonight. Uh, not yet. The first half of the period goes by, and now the game is close again. I think we'll see lots tonight. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. Handles the puck. Moves it to Smith. Sends a pass over. Puts it high. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Makes a move in front. Scores! It's like an endless supply of goals. It doesn't ever seem to be a stop to this. Somebody scores, you know, or feel like there's another one coming very quickly. Now, coaches talk about getting to the front of the net. Make it difficult on the goalie. Take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. The Crunch have served up quite the deflator after that marker, Razor. Yeah, what a difference leading by one to now leading by two. They've really taken control of this game. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Let's the wrister go. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Thomas carries the puck in his own zone. Streaking through. Here he is, all alone. Whoa. That is his first career playoff goal. He doesn't have to wait very long to celebrate that. That's a great feeling getting on the board in the playoffs. Two goals in 50 seconds. So quickly on the board. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. More than half the period has expired. Syracuse really applying the pressure offensively up by three. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Nice pass. Some great thievery in the open ice. And he slides it quickly to Smith. And he gains the zone here. Quick pass to Rasmussen. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Gaunt works the puck in his own zone. Skates to the crease. Grand Rapids has it in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Puts it on that, makes the save. Oh, he gave his head a quick little shake after he made this save. That puck hits him in the mask. And his ears are likely ringing. Here in the late goings of the period, Syracuse is playing on another level tonight. They lead it 4-1. Takes a shot, gets in front of it. Pretty efficient save there. The goalie helps the D-man out by putting the rebound in the corner. Denied by the goaltender. Gains the zone through center. The Griffins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Drives to the crease, and that goes wide. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. They've got numbers. That's off a stick. Picked up along the wall by Joseph. Moves the puck. From point blank range. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Stones him in front. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it aside. The centermen glide into position. Syracuse takes possession off the draw. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Save made by the goalie. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside.
The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. The Griffins are in transition. Shoots it. Oh, what a stop. Puck grabbed by Barber. There's another stop. If you're going to make the save as the goalie does here, you've got to read the play and have the reflexes to execute the save. Late goings of this period. Syracuse has been impressive tonight. What can you say? 4-1 is where we sit. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Syracuse takes it across the line. Scoops up the puck now. From center, they get into the attacking area. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. He was locked in there. Syracuse plays it up the ice. Hammers the shot. That's blocked. And there's the horn, mercifully bringing this first period to an end. Join us for our next team practice, which will be open to the public. Admission is simply by donation, with all proceeds going to local charities. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. Second period set to get underway. A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two with the stop. Gibson's been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage, and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. Lots of time left in this period. It's a 4-1 game. Syracuse wins the faceoff. Scooped up along the wall by foot. Joseph stick handling in his own zone. Now he takes it over the line. Shot right in front, and that's blocked. Sends it over to Svechnikov. Grand Rapids on the attack. Syracuse looks to move the puck from their own end. Maintains possession. Oh, a clutch save! Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Joseph. And that one's blocked! The Griffins move to the offensive zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Nothing! He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Takes the feed. Slides the puck over. Moves it around along the half wall. Here he is, shot right in front! And that's a paddling from the goaltender. But he came out and challenged a good save. Pickard's been taking dangerous chances and throwing them to the curb all night. Here's another one. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Syracuse will go to work here in the offensive end. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Nice zone entry from the right side. Moves into the slot. Made the stop on the play. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but... The goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Paddled away by Gibson. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that one's stopped. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. From the slot. And another stop. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Takes a shot. And he makes the save. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period, and we've got a 4-1 hockey game. Syracuse takes possession off the draw. Thomas moves the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. 
The Griffins gain control of the puck against the wall. Here they come. Backhander, he scores! And look who it is, who delivers! Oh, it's the young guy. They don't really expect that your young guys are going to carry your team, but he's on the board with his first career playoff goal. Now, that's a goal scorer's goal right there, James. He establishes position low in the slot and zips the backhander past the goalie. The Griffins have shown some life here in the second. It's about time, James. They're down two. They've got a long way to go to claw back into this. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Sends the pass over. Grand Rapids steps inside. Quick shot and a great save. The Crunch have it in their own zone. Receives the pass. Nice zone entry from the middle. Hammers the shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Down the right side and into the zone. Into the corner of the attacking area. The Crunch have the puck against the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Grand Rapids gains a hold of possession. The Griffins move it ahead. Shot and makes the save. Syracuse moves ahead with the puck. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Grand Rapids tries to break out from their own end. And now he angles it across to Barber. Let's it go, and he comes up with it. The Crunch have possession along the boards. Into the offensive end now. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Grand Rapids gains a hold of it. Looking for space inside the D zone. The Griffins move it in. Huge steal in his own end. They go on the attack through center. Hammers one at the net, and it doesn't get better than that. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head. Yeah, except all we would say on the bench is it sounded hard when it hit the end board. <laughs> Syracuse takes possession along the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Takes the pass. Slides the cross ice pass. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Cuts into the paint. Breaks up the play with a poke check. The Griffins get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Gibson's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. The Griffins have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. Syracuse with a big defensive zone faceoff. Across the line from center. Syracuse has it against the half wall. Moves the puck behind the net. Blast from the blue line, and that carries off a stick. Cuts to the paint, and a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. The Crunch have taken possession along the wall. Through center. Gets it over to foot. Off the left wing and into center. A shot on target. Tries it to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Moves it quickly over to Rasmussen. The crunch have the puck in the defensive zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. With the stop. Scoops up the puck here. Sends a pass over. From the right side, they gain the zone. Hammers it, and that shot gets caught in traffic. 
Gaunt plays it along the wall. Puck goes out of play, and we'll have a face-off. Pickard's able to recover, and he makes an unbelievable save here. That's a good chance. In the final moments of this period, Syracuse has been the more impressive squad tonight as they have a 4-2 lead. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. The Griffins have it from their own end. Here's a shot. Misses over the net. Syracuse gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Up along the wing. Here's a shot and makes a save. The Griffins scoop it up along the boards. Into the attacking end. From the slot, wrist shot gives them nothing in front. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Pearson's won the draw. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And there's the save. Elson's going to play it against the half wall. Handles the puck. Comes up with the stop. Joseph's got it in the defensive end. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Hammers a shot, and that sails over the net. Well, you got to get it on the net, but I see what he's doing. Lots of the net is gone with the size of the goalies. Quick feed to Pearson. The Griffins take it across the line. Here's a chance. No room for that one to get through. He scores! And a big one on that! Oh, the rookie comes through in his first playoff year with his first playoff goal. Oh, you know he's just trying to clear the puck away. He ends up rifling it past his own goaltender. Whether you're up or down, it doesn't matter. This one stings. Grand Rapids just might have changed the coach's conversation between periods as we approach that intermission. Well, I'm sure he's going to be a lot happier. They've got a chance here, as that goal is a big one to bring him within one. To the low slot! Right in front with the shot! Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. The Griffins look to start the transition game. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Snaps it on net, turns it away. And this is a chance we saw just moments ago. The odd man break puts the goaltender on alert. He has to follow the puck, find the pass, and he makes the stop. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Grand Rapids is still trailing by one as they step in for the draw. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Griffins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Drives to the sweet spot. And there's the horn ending, period number two. Boy, no shortage of offense here. When the home team wins, you win $10 off at Rob. When the home team wins, bring your tickets to any Rob Sporting Goods for a coupon good for $10 off your next purchase of $50 or more. Tickets must be redeemed within a week of Third the period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Third period action is underway, and let's see if the fireworks will continue here. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Syracuse has found chances all over the ice. It's a wide-open thing so far tonight. They got the lead. They can't stop now. He's got the puck with all sorts of traffic around him. Takes the pass from the left wing. Snaps it on net. Big save. Slides it back to the blue line. 
Nice pass. Takes control of the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Puts it on goal. Big time stop there. Moves the puck. Syracuse has it in the defensive end. The Griffins gain possession in their own end. Svechnikov's got the puck along the wing. Grand Rapids plays it against the boards. Blocked in traffic. And he regains control of the puck. With the backhander, and that goes wide. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Takes it to the front. Manages to hang on. Oh, what a good opportunity right there. You don't get many chances. You want to finish them off, so he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Thomas continues to be a leader offensively for this team. He's got multiple points tonight, and they're not going to let him sit down for very long. Hangs onto the puck. Moves it to Smith. Gains the zone through the middle. And he takes a shot. Comes up with the stop. Gibson's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Pickard's hands are quick. He uses a stick to make this save on the scoring chance. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Syracuse hanging on here. They lead it by one. It's 4-3. The Griffins win it. Here's the chance to set up now. That goes wide. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Just wide. The Crunch have gained possession off the wall. Up the neutral zone now. Takes it to the net. Takes a shot. Puts it in for the goal. And the rookie is on the board. What a nice way to jump into your first playoff year. You get on the board and you can relax a bit. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Syracuse has really pushed the pace over these last few minutes, leading by a pair. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Hammers one. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. John Day. Cutting to the front of the net. Grand Rapids takes possession of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. From the slot, denies him in front. Syracuse plays it up ahead. Regains possession at center. Right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Takes the feed. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. The Crunch have the puck in their own end. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Takes a shot. Shuts them down. Slides the puck over. The Griffins are on the attack. Syracuse looks to move the puck from their own end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Takes control of the puck. Takes the feed. Syracuse has possession of it now. Grand Rapids has it in their own zone. Sends the pass over. Takes that pass back at the point. Stopped by the goaltender. Svechnikov's working it around in the corner. Blocked in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Joseph's got it along the wing. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Receives the pass. 
A chance right in front. Off a stick. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Through center along the wing. Makes a move in front. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Big save by the goaltender once again. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. Quick pass to Barber. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Syracuse gains a hold of possession. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Across the point. And now it's grabbed by Svechnikov. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Pass back to the point. Too much congestion in front. Syracuse has the puck. Moves behind the net. A chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Skates to the crease. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Makes the save. Gibson's under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. Past the midway mark of the frame, Syracuse leads by a pair. They're up 5-3. Rasmussen's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. He scores! You're down by a couple. You want to give yourself the opportunity for a tie goal. They've done that with this one here. The defensive team can't get control of the puck off this faceoff. It ends up into the shooter's hands, and he beats the goaltender. The Griffins have closed the gap here in the back half of the third. Still time to go, but now they've given themselves a fighting chance. Syracuse wins the draw in the neutral zone. Here's a shot, gets in front of it. Picked up along the wall by Smith. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Rasmussen's won a big draw in their own end. The Griffins will play it from the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And that goes off a player. Picked up along the boards by foot. Looking to make something happen at center. Syracuse plays it along the wing. And that's broken up. Grand Rapids plays it along the boards. Fires one. Denied by the goaltender. Gauntz picks up the puck. Gaining momentum up along the side. Takes it into the slot. Grand Rapids tries to break out from their own end. Steps inside. Here's a short pass to Rasmussen. Stones him in front. Takes the pass. Gains the zone from the right. Here he is in front. Turns it away. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Puts it on net. And that sails over the net. He likes to go up there. Most times, that's maybe the only open area on the net. And he covers up the puck to get a whistle. Well, that's about time and well needed. The defenders are on fumes. Pickard's probably had a few saves tonight. He's felt better about than that one, but he got just enough of it to keep it out of the net. Here in the later stages of this period, we've got a 5-4 game. The Griffins take possession off the faceoff. Grand Rapids moves ahead with the puck. Moving into the attacking zone. Here's a shot with the stop. The Crunch have the puck in their own zone. Syracuse moves it quickly along the wing. 
And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Syracuse has it near the wall. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Wrist shot from the slot, misses over the net. Even though they're leading by one, it's not a very good feeling. You got a chance like that, and you know you can pretty well salt this away. Grand Rapids on the attack. The Griffins really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. Syracuse takes possession along the wall. Sends a pass over. Oh, how do you miss it? Well, you miss it because you're trying to be perfect with it. Really good opportunity that he doesn't cash in. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. 1-0 is where we sit after this one in this series. It's amazing, James, you play this long season. And then the playoff series goes pretty quickly. You want that lead, they have it now. It's short. You simply have to love playoff hockey. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us this evening.